hello everyone so you, i hope you remember in our previous class we used the asa firewall we learn how we can install the asa firewall so in today class we are going to look some theories some basic stuff about this one so let me connect what i am saying here if you see this is my isp router i am going to connect this to the asa firewall okay this side and also if you see this is my lan gateway I will connect to the LAN gateway to the Ethernet zero of the ASA firewall, and here I am going to connect this one to the uh, ISP router to the Ethernet one. Okay, so this is the setup, basic setup. This is a basic lab. Let me start the ASA, so it will take some time, and let me start this router also. Imagine this is our LAN gateway. This is the ISP router, and this is a ASA firewall. Let me start also. it will start in it will load i am using the secure crt so it will start in the secure crt okay let me start the isp router also so see here what i am saying you this is the asa firewall okay and we connected the gateway to this interface and we connected the isp to this interface now we need to define the security level also if you remember in the packet tracer series also we are using but here same thing you need to define the security level we have the security level in this one wherever you have high security level traffic can flow from high security level to low security level okay so what we will do we will define this is a security level as a 100 and this is a security level as a 0 so traffic can flow from 100 to 0 but it cannot flow from the 0 to 100 you need to remember the traffic will flow from higher security level to lower security level okay so what i am saying traffic will flow from 100 to 0 but it will not flow from 0 to 100 okay so what we will say we will define the level here if you define here let me take this marker if you define here inside automatically security level will set as a 100 and if you define outside automatically security level will set up as a outside okay if i define here outside it will set the security level as a zero we are going to see that one in the real scenario what we can say you will have one switch here okay and this firewall will connect to the switch you have the isp1 you have isp2 and it will connect this way and here in this one we can create the what we can say different vlan we can put the isp1 in separate vlan isp2 is in separate vlan later we will see that no issue but now remember here what we are doing here we have one firewall here and uh, traffic is going to flow from the inside to outside why we are using uh, firewall we are using firewall to check the inspect the packet whatever is coming from inside and going to the outside and whatever traffic is coming from outside it will not permit until unless we define in the policy okay imagine someone is coming from outside to inside it will not allow it will drop the traffic why it will drop the traffic because in this one we did not define that what we can say in the in this asa firewall we did not define that policy to allow this guy that's why it will drop by default the traffic will allow from inside to outside only inside to outside from the higher security level to lower security level okay traffic is allow from the higher security level to lower security level it will not allow from outside to inside this is a stateful we have stateless and stateful stateless and stateful if you see here imagine this guy is going outside okay so in the connection table this asa firewall is going to store this is ip with this port number is going outside and go, going outside uh, to the source example 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 with this port number he will enter in the connection table this entry when this connection is coming back he will check the connection table and he will allow that traffic that is nothing but state full means he is going to remember who is going outside he is going to remember that one he is going to allow that guy to come back to the home that is nothing but we can say connection Uh, stateful okay in the connection table he is storing that one we can say this is a connection full connection we have connection less also what we can say stateful stateless okay stateful stateful means asa firewall is going to remember who is going outside 
and who is coming inside means whoever is going from inside to outside he is going to allow the same guy to come inside that is a stateful firewall you have the stateless firewall that is not going to remember if he go outside it will not come inside if you use the router example router is a stateless firewall you can say if you use router here this traffic can go outside but he cannot come outside you need to apply again the acl but in the asa or any other firewall it is going to remember he is going to maintain the connection table in that one he is going to check if that entry is there he is going to allow that one okay so anyhow let's do some basic configuration so you will have the idea if you see this is my asa firewall okay this is the asa firewall i will press enter i will do enable by default no password just press enter then we will go in the global configuration mode okay and when we go in the global configuration mode you need to go inside this interface eth0 so i will write here interface eth0 now i am inside the interface ip what ip i need to assign i will write ip address and let me write here ip schema whatever we are going to use okay let me write here 1.1.1.1 okay this site i am going to use 1.1.1 and here i am going to use 1.1.2 you can use any ip schema okay 1.1.2 and here this site we can use anything let me make this duplicate so we can write the label here here you can use any different network so i will use here like 2.2.2.2 okay or yeah you let's use this one and i will duplicate this and i will put this here this is a 2.2.2.1 okay and imagine you have your lan network lan network will be the our 192 that range so let me move this here okay so this is our loop back imagine this is a loop back zero loop back zero i will write 192 168 1.1 okay this is our lan network imagine this is our lan network loop back zero so now let's assign the ip let's see how we can assign the ip if you see here i am writing here ip address what is the ip i want to give it has zero this one 2.2.2.2 and then 255.0.0.0 then we will write no shirt here okay and we need to define here name let me put question mark here we have here some setting we need to put if you say this one this one we need to write name if so let me put that one let me put name if name if uh, let me give the space name if and press question mark what we need to define inside and outside so i will write inside okay if you see when i write name if inside automatically they set up the what we can say security level as a 100 as we are discussing before if you remember you need to remember two things you need to remember whenever you are defining as a insight automatically the security level is going to set as a hundred by default and whenever you are defining the name if as a outside then it is going to take as a security level as a zero okay so i define name if here now i will write no shirt i think we already write no shirt or let me write no shirt and i will leave this one now i will go to this another interface this one 1.1.1 1 .1 .1. this is a ethernet one so i will write interface eth1 okay let me exit this okay interface eth ethernet one i go under this interface which one this one now i need to assign this ip ip address 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 255.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. I will write no shirt and I will write name if name if outside okay when I put name if outside if you see the security level outside is taken as a zero by default okay after that I can uh, exit this 
security level i can put but by default they put security level so no need to put now later we will see the security level and i will write wr to save the configuration okay so what i done just i assign the ip if you want to check ip address status you can write show interface ip brief so with this one you can see this two interface is up and you have this ip okay and if you want to create the default route if you want to create the default route from here to the isp we can create let me go in the configuration then write root okay 0.0.0, .0 with the 0.0.0 .0 that is any ip with any subnet mask forward to this ip 1.1.1.1.1.2 let me write here yeah what i forget here we need to write inside or outside okay this is a syntax you need to write root then this root is going out or in you need to define we are not defining in the router but here in the ASA firewall we need to define so i will write here in outside because our traffic is going outside so outside then you need to write 0.0.0, .0 and then 0.0.0, .0 then write the ip 1.1.1.2 okay press enter so this is a root now you can check show root if you see you have the default root this is 0.0.0, .0, .0 going towards this isp interface that is the outside okay this way we configure i will save the configuration and let me do in the isp router also what i will do uh, just the ip address i will assign and also in the LAN router, let me assign the IP address also here also. If you see, or let me move this small so you can see. So I am here in the ISP router. I will change the name first of all, config T, host name, ISP, okay, ISP1 or ISP any name. Then I will write interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. I will write why it is 0, okay, let me write here 0. I missed the 0 ip address 1.1.1.2 then we need to write no shirt okay just i assign the ip address okay let me save the configuration and let me check show ip interface brief so what we have here this is the interface and we need to create one loopback why loopback because i want to show is a google server or any server here so i will write interface loopback 0 I will give IP address 8.8.8.8 let me press again 8.8.8.255.255.2 not this one 255.0.0.0 okay this is a loopback no need to write no shirt because uh, this is a loopback loopback will be always up show IP interface brief okay so this is a loopback I created in the ISP router let me go to the LAN router and do some basic configuration First of all, let me change here. Host name is a LAN gateway. Okay. And now I will write here interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. IP address 2.2.2.1 255.0.0.0. And then no shirt here. Save the configuration. Okay and in this router if you want i can configure the telnet so we can verify okay lan vty lan vty 024 login no login i can write no login so just i need to check the telnet is working or not so this is the basic setup we done what we done here if you see we assign the IP to this interface, we assign the IP to this interface, we have assigned the IP here, here and we will, uh, we did not create, let me create this loopback also. In the LAN I will create here, I will go in the config interface loopback 0, okay. IP address 192.168.1.1, 255.255.255.0, no shirt, okay and let me check show ip interface brief if you see this loopback is also zero so this is a our company gateway we need to forward the traffic from here to here asa so what i will do i will create the default route here i will write ip route 
zero dot zero dot zero okay zero dot zero dot zero forward to the is uh, forward to our firewall ip so i put i forward all the traffic here to the our firewall if you want to check i can write show show ip root you can see here i have all the traffic will go to this firewall in firewall also we created the gateway if you see in firewall also we created the show ip in the firewall no need to write ip show root here also we created the default root all the traffic traffic from here lan set is coming to firewall firewall is forwarding here okay now what i can do i can uh, check here i can ping so this is some basic setup we done in our previous class we are going to learn more detail okay in our previous class we are going to discuss about more detail in this one just we discuss how we can set up in our coming classes we are going to do one more lab uh, we are going to use the same topology in that one we are going to execute the comments and we are going to check the output okay